I don't, you know what I'd like? I'd like a, a proper built steel cage with a ring. Yeah. Yeah. Like that'd the, be old cool. blue, the old blue cage with a working door and the right ring steps. Yeah. Um, I'd like a cage. So it was always frustrating as a kid to always have to go to the glue ring, even though I didn't have a glue ring, and see that they had a cage and my Hasbro ring didn't have one. Yeah. Yeah. Someone makes them, someone custom makes them now, hey, with a 3D printer. Yeah. There's a, they also made them for some of the other scale rings. Um, yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, disappoint. Yeah. Well, congratulations, oh, Mattel. Congratulations, Mattel. I think it's a, a cracking uh, step in the right direction for the community, definitely. So well done. Well, Mattel also released a uh, Ringside exclusive Cactus Jack. Did you get a hold? Yes, did you get a look did. at that one? Mate, how good what is do you it? Think? Let's bring it up. So uh, has this been released or is this on pre-order? I think it's pre-order. I think pre-order it, it, may, it may have just started shipping. Right. But very, very cool figure. You've got the ECW top, um, like a real early Cactus Jack, got the bang, bang hands. You've got the uh, title belt as well. I really like it. Are you an ECW fan? Um, no. Look, well, I wanted to bring up – I wanted to bring up um, – some of the wrestling of late because it's it's getting into uh, the heels and faces here. But um, no, I like I like old school traditional wrestling. I'm not not a yeah. big fan of the, the the blood and the 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 pizza cutters and the barbed wire and the just the unnecessary brutality of it. I just think if you're going to do that, get into a cage and fight fight for real. I don't know, it just the, doesn't make uh, sense. Watching some of the ECW stuff and even the New Jack documentary, ah, uh, uh, far out. Yeah. What a tool. He was a tool. <laughs> he was an absolute tool. I've got no respect for people like that. I, yeah, again, yeah. for me, I don't mean to send, I don't mean to come across too opinionated, but it's like it's like um Nick Kate, Nick Gage. Yeah. Right? They they act like gangsters, they talk absolute rot. They're pretend fighting, but then they're cutting people up, stabbing people, yeah. slamming people into into glass. I, it just blows my mind. It's stupid. <laughs> anyway. Each, each to their own, I guess. It's just not for me. And anyone who does like it, we still support you. <laughs> yeah, as I said, no, no, just no, um, no. Uh, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, that's yeah, Mattel. Junk shop, Mattel, mate. Mattel Junk Shop. Yes, our, our brother and sister from Junk Shop Dog. Um, now I'm gonna. I may ball this balls this name up. So his latest release from Series Two, and I think this wraps up Series Two, is. T N Ryu, T N Ryu, have I said that right, Chris? Uh, no. How would you say it? Is it Tenru? Tenru? Tenru. One, one word, isn't it? Oh, the way the way the way he, I don't know the way he spelt it on on the on his site. I just copied and pasted that. So he's got T, comma N, comma R Y U. So um, anyone who's watching, uh, we've got quite a lot of comments coming through on the live stream. Uh, if anyone can phonetically sound out that name, Tenru. There you go, Tenru. Tenru. Is that Junk Shop Dog there? I'm not sure who that is, but hopefully it's Junk Shop. Did, so I said it right, didn't I? Tenru. Steve Campbell's here. He's back. And we will said, James, New Jack was not a wrestler. Absolutely. I want to be a gangster. New, That's what you want. New Jack was a psycho. Ugh, yeah. Have you yeah. heard the stories about people who went to his house to get an autograph? No. So That's apparently a bit- there's a whole, whole bunch of fans who knew where he lived, and this is recently, like a couple of years ago before he died, they would go to his house to ask him to sign stuff, and apparently he used to be pretty cool about it, and then one day some people went there and he lost his shit and he pulled a gun out and all sorts of stuff. It's so, probably so high, high as a kite. Probably. Probably coking off his head. The other thing is when, well- you get injured, when you get in, injured so much, what do you turn to? Well, painkillers yeah. and uh, drugs. Huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Seems to be the theme. So well done, Junk Shop Dog. Very proud, very proud um, of you guys and you're, and you're putting Australian uh, manufacturing on the map. All righty, next up, Heels and Faces. Now this this figure here, King Kong Bundy, what a what a cracking figure. Mate, that is that is an amazing piece. Did you see someone um, Photoshop the, the paint on it online? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, they, 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 I'll send you the, I'll send you the image. But I there's a picture of it. I thought it was already the painted Prado. No, because it's not. It hasn't come from Zombie, so oh, wow. uh, rumor has it it was someone that's photoshopped it. But that's a. I'm gonna, I want to go as far as to say that is the best King Kong Bundy figure ever made, and it's not even painted yet. 
I love it. Love it. And I also love the hands. The hands are perfect. Also coming out of heels and faces is uh, the Nick Gage, as I mentioned earlier, and also, and also the Matt Cardona, that death match attire. So the match that those, those two uh, fellas had. Um, look, I'd, I'd like to see the heels and faces stick to the legends, personally. Yeah. Um, it seems like a layup with Matt Cardona being so close to Zombie, but um, yeah, look, uh, uh, Legends is is what I'd really love to see coming out of that coming out of that um, toy line. Hey, um, speaking of custom uh, paint jobs, and I know this will segue nicely into the next person we're going to talk about. Did you see John Lucas Reyes's uh, custom CM Punk AEW figure? Yeah, yeah, digital. You then yeah. see. So this is what I love about the world. So if, for those of you who didn't follow this, John Lucas Ray has mocked up a All Elite um, figure with Sam Punk in the packaging. Looked fantastic. It looked like it was legit. But the very bottom, he put, this is a mock-up, this is not a real figure, blah, blah, blah. So just so people could be really clear, he posted it in a couple of groups. Within a couple of hours... People were posting it, asking where they could order one. It was hilarious. <laughs> People were losing it. They're like, oh, how, how did they get the figure out so fast? Oh, I want to buy one of these. Uh, fant- and it, John Lucas Reyes was just saying, how good would this look? And he, he yeah. wrote on the thing, this is not real. Yeah. Yeah. People still yeah. couldn't figure out that it was not real. So Yeah. Uh, it, well it just proves that people don't read things. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I, don't, I don't read things. Yeah, exactly. No. Exactly. All right, next we've got uh, Australian card maker and designer Tyson Beck. So did you see those um, Paddy Mills and Josh Green cards that he created? Yeah, yeah, I should have got them. I, should, I saw them uh, up for I should have got them. Well, good news. Good news is he has announced that um, more will be coming out, not a reprint, so new new designs. I don't know uh, cool. what date they'll be coming out, but he's actually creating another design that he'll be re- releasing shortly. So I will be jumping on it, and I'll let you know if, uh, yeah. you know, when they're ready to go. What, Sounds good. Hey, He's a. You're looking through his Instagram account and his website. He is a phenomenal designer. Like, and he's obviously landed his dream job. He loves basketball, loves the, the the sports card industry, and he's a cracking designer. What a what a dream job, hey? And how's the huge news in sports cards this week that Tops will no longer be making baseball cards? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's Panini and somebody else have lost the NBA in about four years' time. Yeah, yeah. I saw something else today too. What did I see recently? It'll come to me later. But um, did you hear about PWCC, the eBay uh, store? No. So PWCC is eBay's store's largest – sorry, is an eBay store, uh, one of the largest card um, – Oh, yes, I did see this. Sellers? Yeah. So allegedly um, they have been doing shield bids and – trimming cards to send into grading to get them a high grade. So uh, shit's hit the fan for them. And they, they did over $200 million worth of sales last year. Wow. In sports cards. Can you believe that? That's insane. It is. So, you know, there, there's there's he say, she say, there's eBay. You know, apparently that was the first of first that um, PWCC heard of um, eBay, you know, getting rid of them. Um, and they're saying that uh, they're setting up their own shop and that's what they're doing and that's the backlash. So who knows? It's all, all politics, I guess. But if it's true, that's a very um, dark day for sports card collecting. How much food would you be paying on $200 million of eBay sales? Well, you know, it's capped. I read somewhere yeah. it's capped. They wouldn't be paying what you and I will be paying for selling yeah. anything. Um, and so it should be because if, they, if they're getting, you know, their normal fees off $200 million a year, yeah. they're kidding themselves. Yeah. Seven it is. Yeah, exactly. Have you got anything else to talk about in the in the in the figure reveal world? We well, only in the card world, there was a big release for Select this week in Australian Footy Cards, their new range of footy cards coming out called Optimum. Um, okay. which will be a premium box, 24 packs, uh, more inserts than ever before. The f- cool thing about this set for me as a collector is they're doing a dual signature card with two legends, or a legend and a current player who wore the same jersey number. So uh, for the Dockers, which probably isn't the most popular team for most people, <laughs> it'll be the number eight player, which is Andy Brayshaw, current number eight player, great young player, and Sean McManus, who was a captain of the Dockers for a few years and also a bit of a club legend. 
So for me, that's a must-have car. I think they're only numbered to 40 or 60. Be a must-have car for your collection. Um, I know that there's a few other high-end cards as well for those sort of uh, things. So very, very sought after. They'll sell out in probably minutes, the set. Um, and I've got a couple of boxes on order. Also, in the card world, the announcement of the AEW figures, the AEW, yeah. figures, the AEW cards. Um, our, our mate Leach, he's already onto it. Uh, he wants to um, maybe do some breaks. So uh, he'll be posting something about that in the group in the future. Yep. So there's something yep. exciting to look forward to for people who are looking into AEW cards. Yeah. And Upper Deck are, are creating those, eh? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, yeah. Yeah. Probably, pretty sure it's Upper Deck, right. which, is, which is pretty cool. Very cool. It's top. Uh, pretty sure it's Upper Deck. Oh, if anyone knows, right. correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, big wrestling card collector. I've always, one thing I've never understood with wrestling, and I've got heaps of autos, so um, this is not trashing autos, but when you say you get Axe from Demolition to sign your uh, something, and he signs an Axe, like he's not actually signing anyone's name. That's his character's name. He's not signing Barry Darcy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind yeah, of weird. Well, I'd, want a, I'd want an axe, not Barry Darso. Well, I want an axe. I've got axe and smash together. But, uh, yeah, but if they're their real one. name, yeah. No, uh, I'd, yeah. I'd want their character name. How do you make so your get autograph out of it? How do you what? How do you write your autograph to your fans? Uh, James Thomas, co host of the Wrestling with Figs podcast, HOF. I, I just put uh, CM, CM Punk. <laughs> CM Punk. Yeah, nice. All right, moving uh, on. Yes, thank you to everyone that purchased their uh, OG original uh, Wrestling with Things podcast merchandise. It's um, they're all underway. They're getting they're getting manufactured as we speak, and they should be landing in our hot little hands in the coming weeks. So um, stay stay uh, stay alert for that. And um, again, thank you to everyone that um, bought their shirt and their hoodie. Can't wait to see you all in it. Make sure you take a a sc- uh, selfie and, and post it in the group and get get the uh, brand and everything out there. I will say we are speaking with the great man, John Lucas Reyes. I put a post up in the group uh, the other day and we're looking at singlets, hats and stubby holders. All right, so stay tuned for that and that is getting ready for the warmer months, which, what are we now, late August? Do you know today, you know you can see on the screen here for people watching, uh, a bit of sunburn. A little bit of sunburn right. today. Yeah, we're teaching phys ed today. Um, so kids, make sure you slip, slop and slap out there. It is getting warm in the <laughs> West. And wear your, and wear your uh, Wrestling with Fix podcast hat when it comes out. Yeah, well, so it's keep, looking cool. Keep, Can I give it a, um, a, a big uh, hat? Sombrero. Or a flap hat. Can we get a flap hat? <laughs> no hat, no play. You know, hat, no play, mate. We still do that. Yeah, do you? Okay, I remember that. Yeah. Gee, I remember that from year six. Actually, what about one of our members? I can't think who it was. Put up a post within the group of I think it was Legend Series one or two, right? And he goes, yeah. "I've had I bought I bought these figures when I was eight years old." And I'm just going, "You're kidding!" I remember being almost thirty in the shops while I was working and going in, in, the, in the big dummy and picking that. <laughs> Mate, it made me feel very old. And look at that, Jackson asking for your autograph, and Riley Emerson confirming upper deck. Upper deck. Actually, I did. I did. So I signed um, Jackson's stubby holder. There you go. One of a kind. One of one. One of one. So we've got some, I guess, worldwide breaking news with the Bushman Mark Bushy. Did you see his uh, latest find? Mate, how good was it? Yeah. About 50, 60, 70 uh, Hasbro Joxa carded figures. Um, not too overly familiar with the Joxa range myself, but I'm sure yeah. somebody will be able to tell us. Is it the yeah. Italian release? Uh, I don't know. It's not ta- Italian. That's a G. That's the GIA or GIG. Oh, GG. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it might be even, no, it's not Spanish. Um, we'll find out a bit more information on it, but I do know they're, yeah. they're the kind of rarer foreign cards uh, that were released with Hasbro's, and he's found case. Fresh, uh, Hogan, Rick Rude, Argentine. There you go, Argentine cards. Argentina, thank you. I, I actually knew that, but uh, James put me off. Oh, I was thinking Spanish. It wasn't Spanish because I've had Spanish foreign cards in the, in the past. 
Um, so he's found Rick Rude, a case fresh of Rick Rude, million dollar man, and Hulk 